para su seguridad, permanezca sentados y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren y cuide a los niños. Gracias. Now, Casey, let's get this show on the road, or uh, <laughs> track. All aboard! All aboard!
One golden afternoon, Alice started to chase after the white rabbit down the rabbit hole, where they fell down, down, down into Wonderland, and things just got curiouser and curiouser from there. And if that story is not your cup of tea, ladies and gentlemen, that is all right, because over to your right is London Park, where it's Peter Pan and Tinkerbell sprinkled Wendy, John, and Michael with some pixie dust. With the help of their happy thoughts, they flew away to Neverland, where you never, ever have to grow up. And up ahead is Agrabah, the city of mystery and enchantment, where local street rattle Aladdin stole the heart of the princess, Princess Jasmine, that is. In order, and with the help of their friends, they defeated the evil sorcerer Jafar and lived happily ever after inside the Sultan's palace. Talk about unbelievable sights, ladies and gentlemen. We are now making our way underneath the golden archways of Agrabah. These are the very same archways and very same stars that Aladdin, Jan, Jasmine, pull over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride to a whole new world. And up ahead, the Cave of Wonders has been opened. The Cave of Wonders, ladies and gentlemen, is the home of the genie and the lamp. At least that's where Aladdin first discovered them. And whoever holds the lamp is said to be great with three wishes. And as we make our way inside the cave, let's all make a wish and hope it comes true. Wow, these guys are all awesome. And as we exit the Cave of Wonders over to your right, you'll notice the Cottage of the Seven Dwarves. That is the very same cottage that Snow White fled to in order to escape the wrath of the evil queen. And over to your left, sitting high above us, is the Princess Castle where he held the ball where he met Cinderella. Unfortunately, at the stroke of midnight, Cinderella had to be rushed back home inside her once enchanted pumpkin. But don't worry, friends, because she and the prince lived happily ever after after the famous slipper incident. And they are now back up there inside that very same castle. And over to your left, ladies and gentlemen, is the hillside of golden flowers. Notice their size, for they are very, very tiny, thanks to the enchantment of Tinkerbell herself. Guaranteeing that these plants will never, ever grow up. As well, these arrangements were inspired by the 1933 Lisa Penny cartoon, Lullaby Land. Making this just one of the many favorite parts of Master Storyteller himself, Walt Disney, back in 1955. Walt Disney folks to this very day continue to inspire us as well as the creation of new stories. Stories like The Wind of the Willows featuring Mole Rat and Mr. Toad. And speaking of Mr. Toad, up ahead is Toad Hall, ancestral home of Mr. Toad. If you knock on those doors, you'll not find him there. That's because he's on a wild ride to nowhere in particular in his brand new motor car. And just beyond Toad Hall is a fan favorite destination here at Storybook Land, the Kingdom of Arendelle, home of Queen Elsa and Princess Anna. All her life, Queen Elsa was told to hide her icy magical abilities, and so she fled high up into the mountains, built that lovely ice castle, and so she could just let it go. And up ahead is Alpine Village, home of local woodcarver Geppetto, who carved a little wood boy he considered his son named Pinocchio. He wished upon a star for Pinocchio to become a real boy, and after a perilous journey that included dealing with Monstro the Whale, his wish was granted by the Blue Fairy. Speaking of wishes being granted, Little Mermaid Ariel under the sea wished to become part of our world. It took her three days, but her wish was eventually granted, and so now she and Prince Eric live inside their lovely seaside castle you'll find over to your right. And speaking of under the sea, over to your left beyond the waterfalls is the underwater kingdom of Atlantica, which to this very day is still being ruled by King Triton himself. It's also the home of Sebastian, Flounder, and all of Ariel's sisters. And as we make our way back towards the dock, I'd like to remind everyone to please remain seated until my cat across the way are the few little pigs that he wanted to eat. In order to escape the hunger of the wolf, each pig built a house, one made of straw, one made of sticks, and one made of wolf-proof bricks. Thank you. 
and as we come up around the river bend, you oh you'll find over to your left the quaint little English village that was the home of Alice. One golden afternoon, Alice started to chase after the white rabbit down the rabbit hole, where they fell down, down, down into Wonderland, and things just got curiouser and curiouser from there. And if that story is not your cup of tea, ladies and gentlemen, that is all right, because over to your right is London Park, where it's Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. Called Story of Land, 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 Land. Once upon a time, there lived a big bad wolf inside a big bad cave. You'll find over to your left. And maybe anybody seen my little sweet guy. 